Hey guys, Chad Trofkerbin here from the Incredible Tutorials YouTube channel. Jim Mills and I have teamed up with Smith Micro to bring you these brand new Anime Studio 10 tutorials. So I hope you're ready, because we're about to get started. One of the most frustrating things about animation is thinking you're done with something and then you render it out and you take all that time to render it out depending on the complexity of your scene and then you realize that one little thing went wrong maybe a bone didn't animate properly or you didn't see something in your workspace that is conflicting with the rendered animation so you have to go back in you have to fix it you have to re-render and hope it worked and hope you fixed everything and then move on hopefully well with anime studio version 10 you now have the ability to preview animations by creating a quick render of what is on your workspace. So this can really cut down on trial and error and give you a good view of what the project is going to look like once you decide to commit to a full render. So as you can see right here, I have a simple scene here. If I hit play, we can see it's only running at about 12 to 13 frames per second. And that's because when you have a lot of stuff going on in Anime Studio, it can sometimes become slower just because of all the assets on screen, all the details and so forth. So let's say we want to preview this render so we can kind of get an idea of what it will look like at full speed. Well, you can go up to File, Preview Animation. Again, this is new to version 10. Of course, there's a shortcut there, shift command r or shift control r if you're on a PC. And what will happen now is you'll see it play out. Now, it's going to play out until you either hit stop or it reaches the end of your current sequence, which would be 240 for me. So I'll hit stop. And you can see now that right away it brings up a quick time movie here of what this will look like. Now, You'll notice that we have, for instance, the border of the workspace here and such. You're basically getting a preview of what it looks like on the workspace. So you would not use this for a final render. It's mostly just to get an idea of what it will look like when you are previewing. So if we hit play, you can see it actually plays at full speed, full 24 frames per second, which will then allow you not only to get an idea of the pacing, but hopefully catch any of those small little things that you may not catch when you're working on the workspace, especially if you have a lot of assets on screen and things are a little bit slower. So with that, you have some more control over what you can do with this. Let's say you just want to render out a certain portion of this. Let's say I want to go from 0 to frame 37. Well, what you can do on your timeline is hold in the command key and click and you'll see a green dot appears. Now, if you're on a PC, you'll be using control click for this. And then for your end point, at around frame 37, you will command right click or control right click. Or if you're using one button mouse for the Mac, it would be control command click. And then you'll put your out frame. So now, when you preview this, you will then be able to just capture those frames and then you can hone in on a certain sequence of your scene to make sure everything is going according to plan. Also, a shortcut for this is also to go to your play button and then hold an alt and then hit play and that will play it out and preview it at the same time. So just like that. And then you can see now the preview window appears and then I can play out just those few frames. Now finally, if you want to access this video file, you can go to your file browser, go into your Anime Studio Pro folder, and then locate the render cache folder. Here you can see I have the preview right here. It's right here, I can double click to open it. And you could then, if you wanted to, share this or you could put it somewhere else and save it so that it doesn't get overwritten at any point if you want to use that as a reference for yourself or maybe for someone else you're working with. But anyway, that is the preview animation setting in Anime Studio Pro 10. Be sure to check it out. It can be a real time saver and provide you a clear view of what is going on on your workspace. If you would like more information on Anime Studio, please check out the official Anime Studio website at anime.smithmicro.com.
www.thinkingdigital.com. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you.